Some characteristics that are going to help you identify the mule deer, different from the other species, is this dark forehead. So take a look at this handsome fella in the picture. No, not Dylan. The, <laughs> the mule deer in front of him. So you can see it looks like this dark patch uh, right down almost between the eyes of this mule deer. Um, because of that, you can see this uh, the, um, the pale um, muzzle down in front of that dark cap on the head. Something also to notice is very characteristic are these pairs of forked antlers. So you can see on the set of antlers on the right side of the picture, the, the antlers rise up into where it forks. And then on that fork, there, there's a pair of forks. There's a, fork, a set of forks on the right, a set of forks on the left. That's super characteristic of, of the mule deer. They have a white rump can't see them in this picture, but uh, we'll get to some soon. And on that on that uh, tail, this, this white rump, you have a white ropey tail and then a black tip as though they've they've knelt down into a bunch of black paint or something. Just that little tip has been uh, painted with the, with the black. All right. So let's take another angle at this face. So you can see that that white muzzle and that dark forehead, almost black on this fella. And you can see that tiny little patch of paler a little bit higher up. That, that can be normal. There's variation in, in all animals, of course. But, but that dark forehead is what you're looking for. Here's a nice shot of the rump. <laughs> so you can see how even down into the haunches, into the, into the thighs, there's that paler color, that circle uh, shape on the back of the, the body there that's just white. And then that tiny little of black at the end of the tail. All right, let's talk about the white-tailed deer now. The white-tailed deer have some key characteristics that'll help you identify them and differentiate them from the other species of deer. So they have a configuration of a configuration of antlers that's different from the other fella. They have one main beam, and then tines rising up from that main beam. We'll take a look at another picture in a sec that really illustrates that well. In this picture, you can see on the face, there are, there are almost three white circles. So you have a white circle around one eye, a white circle around another, and then a white circle around the muzzle. We'll be able to see that in other pictures again soon, around that nose. The rump is actually a tan color, <laughs> different from white tail would make you believe. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get into that in a sec. When, when they are uh, nervous or, or fleeing an area, they will, they'll throw up this flag, the, this white tail. They'll hold their tail up in the air. And this, of course, is where they get their names from. That great big white of the tail underneath, this lily white down into the thighs. Um, that's really, really characteristic of this type of deer. All right, this is a nice side view. I love the one on the left. You can see that one main beam and then the tines rising up. And the, the, the helpful thing about white-tailed deer is you can take a look at the shape of the antlers and you can spell the letter W in the antlers. <laughs> so thankfully for the white-tailed deer, they put a W in the configuration on the antlers. On the right, we can see uh, the face on picture of the white tailed deer, maybe a bit more obvious now around that nose, that, that white ring around the nose and the white rings around the eyes. Here on the left, you can see why I'm a little disappointed in the name of this deer. <laughs> so when, when they're, uh, not fleeing, when they're not having this flag up in the air, their tail is down and covering most of the white. <laughs> so take your time when identifying different species of deer and make sure you have identified the right deer before you shoot. On the right hand side, that's a dead giveaway, but don't shoot at an animal while they're running. <laughs> so uh, don't wait until you can see this until you're identifying your species. You're not gonna see them anymore. All right. Here, use this picture to practice. What are, you, what are you seeing on this deer's face that tells you it's a white-tailed deer? Configuration of the antlers, the white circles. Good. All right.
test yourselves with this one. Mule deer or white-tailed deer? So on the left, I'm seeing enormous ears like a mule. <laughs> but more importantly, I'm seeing the dark forehead. And that dark forehead is the dead giveaway for mule deer on the left. On the right, even though that tail is hiding most of the white, I'm then going to the face and I'm taking a look at the face and I'm seeing ah, the pale white circles around the eyes. Still immature, so you're not really seeing the, the really characteristic circle around the nose, around the muzzle. Uh, but, but this is definitely a white-tailed deer on the right. All right. A few more booties to look at. <laughs> so on the left. Oh, look at all that white that's being covered up by the tail. Hmm. <laughs> this is a white-tailed deer. The next one, mule deer. You can see the white all the time on the mule deer. And that little black tuft at the end. That's what you're looking for. A dead giveaway. On the far right, I'm seeing the dark forehead and that pale muzzle. Also, the configuration of the antlers isn't going to help you all the time. So you can see here, they're not as massive and as forking as it was in some of the other pictures that I showed in a, a second ago. So what you want to be able to do is really be able to identify using some of these other characteristics other than the antlers. <laughs> Who's this fella? This guy's still in velvet. You can see those, those pudgy looking antlers, blood flow in them. I'm seeing the pairs of forks in the antlers, especially on the left side of the picture. And that dark, dark brow with the paler muzzle. Hmm. This one, oh, what's wrong with his dark brow? Hmm. <laughs> so you can see there is pale circles around the eyes, around the muzzle, those circles. And I am seeing one beam with those tines rising up. So I'm seeing a white-tailed deer in this picture. Who's this? Huh, dark muzzle, uh, sorry, dark, dark eyebrow, paler around the, muzzle, palish around the eyes. Nope, that dark, that dark unibrow is really doing it for me. This is the mule deer. Okay, by now you all know, okay, that little patch of black at the end of the white tail, I get it. <laughs> We're looking at a mule deer. Good. Oh, oh, okay. All right, a few more practices with the antlers on the left, seeing the pair of forks. Mule deer on the right. I'm seeing one tine, one beam rather, with tines rising up. I'm seeing the letter W in those antlers. White tailed deer. All right. Now, like I said before, there are only those four deer in the province, and two are managed as one. Here's the other half of the mule deer. So this is the black-tailed deer. So the black-tailed deer is smaller than the mule deer. They're less um, husky. <laughs> and they have very similar features. So, so again, that uh, the black brow, the pale muzzle, the, the fork to fork on the antlers. So all the same characteristics you're looking for. It's just where you are that makes the difference. So if we go back to our map, you can see that dark hash lines with the cascades on the Gulf Islands, on Vancouver Island, Haida Gwaii. So it's more important to know where you are rather than the animal you're looking at to differentiate between mule deer and black-tailed deer. 